Fun games and fitness across Qatar for this year's sports day. Qatar comes down heavy on Israel after a controversial vote to expand illegal settlements. Volunteer medics head over to help victims of the earthquake in Syria. And finally, is Qatar just days away from stepping into the Premier League? Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. It's sports day. Millions of residents across Qatar have been out and about across the country to mark the holiday. Activities have been set up in hotspots around Doha and other major cities to get locals moving this year. Qatar is one of few countries around the world that marks sports day as a national public holiday. It was established to promote healthy lifestyles for locals of all ages. And now in politics, Qatar has strongly condemned the Israeli government's legislation of settlement outposts and expansions in the occupied West Bank. Hours earlier, the Israeli cabinet agreed to legalize nine settlement outposts in the occupied West Bank, which violate international law and UN Security Council resolutions. This comes amid growing calls for accountability from global organizations and experts who have described the most recent move as domicide. In more updates from the tragic earthquakes, a second volunteer medical team is departing for Syria to carry out difficult surgical procedures on victims who've survived. Qatar Red Crescent Society had already dispatched a team earlier this week to respond to the disaster, while Qatari authorities also revealed they'd sent cabins used for the World Cup to house victims. So far, 35,000 people have been confirmed dead. And finally, in sports, speculations over a possible Qatari takeover of Manchester United are ramping up. Reports claim Qatar is just days away from making a bid of more than four billion pounds for the Premier League club. No official comment has been made by authorities in Qatar, but officials have pointed to interest in the English league. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.